In the mid-80s, once again, a new, supposedly golden age dawned for scientists. Genetic technology appeared to be the key to subordinating the Earth and, in particular, its living creatures. All of a sudden, everything seemed possible. They experimented with chickens without feathers, sheep without pelts to alleviate work after slaughtering, with cows producing more milk and goats making silk. They even imagined animals in the role of living organ donors. Yet most of the experiments ended in failure and never found their way out of the laboratories. Not only did the animals fail to conform to the scientists' visions, they were also deformed and incapable of survival. Only research on fish made progress. Here, scientists could put their knowledge into practice more quickly as the animals have shorter generation times and the hundreds of thousands of eggs developed by themselves outside the mother. A Canadian company by the name of Aqua Bounty is in the process of obtaining market approval for its genetically manipulated giant salmon. It has developed a salmon that is six times larger than the other members of its species, yet needs only half the time to grow. Thank you.